Hey, welcome to this Field of Glory 2 gameplay video. If you ever imagine leading Roman legions to victory, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Well, hey, and welcome. Welcome back to those who've been following along. All right, we're ready to get started in stage two of the Sulla campaign. Uh, it says you succeed, successfully achieved the victory conditions for the previous stage of the campaign. Sometimes my eye teeth get in the way of my tongue and I can't see what I'm going to say. Blech. So it's 101 BC. Two huge German tribes, the Kimbri and the Teutones, have migrated into northern Italy. Marius has been sent against them, and you are once again serving on his staff. The Germans have chose to fight at Werkelai. Okay, well, I hit the offer battle button. It's going to take me in there and I'm going to have to get set up which I will do without dragging the video out. So I'm going to go do that and be back in just a moment. While I'm doing that, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification button. Share with your friends. And hey, leave me a comment. If you like what you're seeing, let me know. If you like to see something else, let me know. If uh, you, know, you think I, whatever, just give me a little feedback here. I'd appreciate it. So let's get going. I'll see you again in just a moment. Well, okay, here we are. And... Uh, Boy, they gave us a lot of points to play with, and uh, which means I expect to see a gigantic German army. Um, you can see it's a beautiful Roman legion. It's even got an elephant. It's even got an elephant. Uh, the truth is it was hard to spend the points. Uh, whether you care for that sort of thing or not, there she is. And the models are just marvelous. So, let's... Uh, Go over what I was thinking as I set this up. Get this set up. We've got this river covering our flank, this impassable water obstacle. Of course, there's a, a track there, so it's possible they could attempt to flank us there. A uh, patch of rough ground over here and this hill. But for the most part, it's really nicely open with a wide open left flank and a right flank that's rather more restricted so I set up my legions uh, or my legion or my legionnaires uh, we have regular Roman legionnaires in the first and the third line veterans in the second line uh, the CNC is right there subgeneral here with his own little cavalry command and a couple of subgenerals here which have no commands they don't have anybody subordinate to them immediately so that just makes them particularly mean little melee units. Um, Gaius Marius has got a, as you can see, a very large command radius. I don't expect these units to wander out of it, uh, at least not significantly. So I think all the lights will still have their free 45 degree turn for the most part, as long as he doesn't get engaged in uh, melee combat. He's in the third line, in the center. Hopefully that means he will be uh, for the most part, uh, not engaged, uh, and uh, of course we will do if we have to. Elephant? Well, you know, it was either that or buy a bunch of other stuff. That's 50-point elephant. I don't know. I could have gotten some lights, but hey, you know what? There's uh, should be a bunch of medium foot over there, and they ought to be quite upset at an elephant. That that could be a lot of fun. Uh, the lights are mostly archers, javelinmen here, archers, Cretan archers, slingers and uh, more archers and and I think about it I kind of probably ought to uh, what if I were to do this because the slingers are particularly fun against cavalry I think I could be wrong and uh, I think we're gonna see more cavalry over here doesn't much matter it's all nonsense I think it's time to find out what the uh, Germans had in mind so let's hit the button Nope, got to confirm it. I'm sitting here wondering, where are the guys? Whoa. Yeah, you know what? We're not going to have to do anything. They're coming for us, <laughs> which is not true. We're going to need to go for them. Uh, that was nicely done on their part. That really threatens this flank. But I think, whoa, it gets even crazier. Look at their deployment. I could deploy to here. They could deploy clean out across the map. Uh this is going to be an interesting thing. What that means to me is we can't stand here and wait for them because they will just kind of wrap around us. We need to get in here and bust their chops. Now, 
That also means that this flank could be a real threat. But, you know, I guess there's one way to find out. And that's go ahead and get stuck in. Uh, there's some light cavalry here. There's no lights to speak of. They're all here. So, I think these guys need to scoot out of the way. And with the possible, you know, that one guy right there could come out here and raise hell with the elephant before they could get on top of him. Let's see. They're going to, they're not just going to go screaming. Yeah. You know, I'll get a two move. Uh, since I don't have these guys broken into commands, I think it's fair to uh, take a couple of these archers to deal with this over here. So we will move these guys here. Those guys there. And that'll be our neutralize that light cavalry force. This crowd I'm going to move over looking at them. This bunch is going to take Oh, the elephant can go further than anybody. He also does not seem to be part. Well, I don't know. Let's see what happens if we move. They move with them. That's good enough. That's good enough. Um, war bands, superior war bands, and other pain in the butt. Javelinmen, good. Not archers. And light javelin horse. Well, the archers are not going to be terribly effective against this crowd. And I don't know, he may have something tucked up in those woods. But I think the light horse archers. And, well, i got to have something to dance in front of these guys. Uh, 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 javelin, javelin, javelin. They're going to come as fast and hard as they can. What does it look like if I swing this hole? You know, first, let's uh, let's take a look at that. We don't want to get. I, I said I was going to get out of it, and then the first thing I say is, you know, I need to get out of it. Maybe that's not the wisest thing I could do. They go there. They can make another move there. Uh, I can undo the move. Right. And turn that crowd to kind of look over in that direction. These guys are going to rush down on them pretty quick. And this bunch right here, they need to be really happy with, uh, with staying back here to threaten whatever flops, whatever wants to turn on us here. These guys need to be ready to threaten the... Uh... And those guys, for some reason, did not move. Got to start paying attention. Ah, it's because they're part of their own command. All right, wake up, wake up. That's fine. Next, that these guys need to be a force back here a threat plus they're going to have to deal with what's coming here although I think this will tie that up for the most part this crowd is what's going to have to minimize the threat to this flank so uh, they can move like that or they can move like that then they can't turn which is probably not a big deal I think maybe we move them forward just. I really don't want to move them very far. These guys could really come pouring way back before they decide to turn. So we're going to shift them to the left and then get happy. I think that takes care of everybody. If everybody's moved, nobody's in position to shoot, it's time to go. Let's uh, say it's time to go. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's 
Screenshot time. All right, time to go. And here come his lights. I start pounding those Cretans. Look at this. And there's going to be some guys behind that hill, but they're going to get broken up by the rough terrain and the climb up. Here comes the big flanking move over there with the lights. Here come his cavalry, which I think we can deal with with the, uh, the light infantry. And turn that up a little bit. I need to get these guys out of the way of the legionnaires. They've got to be able to start playing. And let's click right. These guys need to dance around over here. In fact, I may pull them back. And they, they can play back here. So let's get this crowd turned. Let's get these guys. And again, let's take a look at our command radius. One square more. So they could move. Oh, they could do, you know, something like this and then a and then a turn. I want to. I don't want these guys catching them. I really want this to be a force. Now that I think about it, I probably should have moved them back. Okay, but I don't want to go too far. They've already gone as far as they can go, and stay in command. Right. So if they go there, they can't turn, but. Nobody can get on top of them before they do, so I'm not too worried about that. That would have, could have been a more eloquently executed move. Um, this is challenging. This guy moves here. Can he turn and shoot? Yes, he can. He does that, though. He's just as likely to get pinned up against that river. And uh, although I want to... Uh, I want to toy with these guys. I don't want to get them destroyed uh, quite so easily. Or they can just stand here and raise hell with that guy right now. But th these guys need to move up. So they got to get out of the way at least a little bit. they got to get out of the way. Without getting too close. Okay, we hope you guys find that entertaining. Um, same thing goes here, which means these are javelin men. Well, so are these. So let's go there, turn and fire. And those are archers, which means I need them out of the way of this next march. Turn and fire. That was nice. And turn and fire. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. And this crowd needs to do its... Well, since they are now quite thoroughly too close to do anything else... I was thinking, yep, got to move up, got to move up, got to move up. There might be too much of a good thing. Um, no. No. They got to go. They may not go any further than this, but they got to go. And I say that because I really want to engage. I can beat anything I engage. I'm convinced. I could beat down... Anything that I can lay into with these Legionnaires. The question is, can I beat enough of them before they crush my left? Which means I can't give them time to maneuver. I cannot give them time to maneuver. we got to close them. we got to kill them. And uh, we just have to depend on our friends here. to watch our backs. All right, how we doing? That's it. I think it's time to push the button. One, let's get a let's get a look at this from another point of view. 
Wow, that's just, this game is so beautiful. Let's just get down here and for a minute, let's enjoy the beauty of this game. If you've ever, you know, I don't know how many people watching have been gamers uh, for any length of time. If you've ever done uh, miniatures, ancient miniatures, but this reminds me of my old WRG days without all the WRG grief and unhappiness. And, well, if anybody's been a WRG player, you'll know how, what a mixed joy it was. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, man. Here they come. It's fixing to get serious. We're going to have to get that elephant stuck in. That's going to be fun. I will like that. I will enjoy that. It looks like they decided to come around that hill rather than over the hill. I think that's interesting. Look at the guys busting out of the busting out of the woods over there. What are those? War bands. Okie dokie. Well, That would be dumb. I'm not too worried about the threat of that light cavalry on the uh, the heavy foot. These guys go here. Can they turn around and shoot? No, they cannot. If they go here, can they turn around and shoot? Yes, they can. And... There we go. That light cavalry just became a non-issue. At least that's my opinion, for whatever that's worth. Um, these guys need to get the hell out of the way. Which is more complicated than I like. A lot more complicated. I did not do as well with that as I, as I should have. Because they're kind of stuck. Although this third line does not have to advance with the uh, with the first two lines. In fact, it might be wise if they do not. So let those guys fade that way. And uh, the light infantry is kind of much a problem for him as it is for me. So, I think these guys need to come toy with, oh, that rough ground there. I wish I could get in it. But they need to come toy with, uh, oh, they can't quite make it. Oh, those are slingers. they got to be close. Um, and that's Javelin. So, i got my, okay, the Cretans are out of the way. The javelinman could charge that and probably win it, but it's going to really bollocks up this right here. Although, maybe that's not so bad. These guys turn, swing, and, and smack while this wing is refused just a bit. Um, let's send them in. Okay, awesome. I think. <laughs> Maybe. Um, now this guy could actually move forward and do the slinger thing to a general, which is always fun. I love pounding on generals. All right. Finished up with the lights over there. Over here, things are just a wee bit more complicated. Just a wee bit. And this crowd over here does not seem to be getting particularly aggressive. Um, actually, I 
Well, I have an interesting choice now. I can ride forward with the horse and start skirmishing with this crowd uh, and try to hold them back. I think that'll just turn into a, a mess over here uh, with them eventually crushing this crowd if I'm not careful. Uh, and really, all I want them to be is cautious about coming this way. I want to slow them down based on position uh, more than any damage that I might be able to do. Um, they move forward. Uh huh. That just took them out, or at least took one of the guys out of command radius. There, he can turn. There, he can turn. These guys can come back as a group. Well, I guess they can turn if I just select the right order. Things will work a lot better. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep, that's looking pretty good. They're well out of reach, yet still able to threaten in short order. Although maybe this crowd's fixing to move up another two. Or actually, I think we may stand where they are and send the elephant in rather than giving them the charge. Once the elephant's in, that could be interesting. So, I think this crowd will move up one. And now comes the interesting part. Now comes the part where things start getting interesting. He can jump over there and get in the middle of them. And these guys can hold back. And if he is here and these guys, well, they'll all start fighting him. We could bring the second line of Legionnaires up. We go forward one, they'll charge across the line. They'll just come for us. If we stand here for a round, then they can come to us or not. And I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd say, hey, hey, this is awesome. I'd start swinging this. So I want to force the issue. <sighs> then again, it's the AI. It's not a, uh, a human player. And uh, that's a whole nother thing as uh, anybody who's had the joy of playing a person will know. And I am, I've hit a sudden bit of indecisiveness, not a, uh, not a great characteristic for a, uh, for a general, huh? Not the best thing ever. So, I could step these guys up one, charge him in. That will definitely tie up this bit of the line. No way around it. That will tie them up something fierce. Or I could move him forward. I could move this wing forward one. Perhaps the veteran legionnaires up one. And let the rest of these refuse a bit and watch what happens. Yeah, something... Something like that. What do you say? Something. I'm not charging those guys. Um, they move. They move. 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 Now, whether I move that line up or not is an interesting thing. But I think, yeah. I think, yes. And send them in, and it gets interesting. Really, the only question is whether I move up here. And I think I'm going to let them have that. So, 
or I could stay on there just like this. No, we're gonna we're gonna open it up. All right, that was cool. In fact, it was so cool that I'm tempted to go ahead and bring the rest of these guys, at least the second line, up into position to uh, to get in the game, while the third line. Uh, the third line kind of, what the heck is he looking at? Still got my guys back there under control. Yep, I like it. I like it. it Maybe brilliant. It may be stupid. I don't know. Here we go. We're going to find out. Okay, their lights are falling back. Oh, that hurt. Wow. And here comes the flanking move. Okay. Awesome. Really fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. That patch of rough ground there is kind of working to our advantage is making it a little more difficult for them to uh... ah it would have been nice if they had really would have been very nice if they had really hated that but hey there you go bang um... I don't know if he can do that yeah he can bang That's better. Fragmented lights are awesome. And now we've got a bunch of lights here that need to get themselves need to get themselves or javelins and slingers. They can be charged, which would be a good thing. All right, those guys have done their thing, and these guys need to get out of here. And here is a clash of titans, man. Subgeneral versus subgeneral. Veteran Romans versus a superior warband. Wow. That's cool. All right, how are we doing in positions over here? Hmm. Let's back this out a little bit. These guys just seem to have gone silly. I don't know why they're not. I don't know why they're not playing. I think they're wanting me to commit. Um. These guys probably ought to come up one or two to make this threat real. And well, let's take a look at Marius. Okay, they're good as long as they stay on a straight line. Shooting arrows at these guys is just pointless. They're, they're too big. Um, I mean, you could do it, but, pff, you know, I don't think you can do enough damage before they run out of ammo. I think they stay where they are. And now we come down to where it really matters and whether I made the right decision on how to deal with these guys. In they go.
in they go. Ooh, that was uh, a little more exciting than I expected. I say I'm going to move them up too, now that I think about it. Yeah, I may, I may shift. I may shift these guys a bit before they run out of command control because of Marius's moves. And now, yep. Marius will be doing his thing. This is uh, this is unfortunate right there. I don't like that. So they got to get in there to hold that under control. These guys just got to get in there. Get that fight on. These guys got to turn. Cover this guy's flank. These guys are all done their thing. Marius needs to come up one. Got to get an advantage in that fight. If these guys cannot get here. Not too worried about that. On the other hand, I don't like this hole that's developing there. So I'm thinking... This crowd needs to start looking there. And they move up. They turn. These guys have done their thing. Yeah, you know, I could charge them, and that would put me in position. They'll just run off. And uh, I don't have to worry about pursuing them past that, I don't believe. Of course, I could also, depending on these guys, to break them. I don't think they can. I don't, uh, they just might be able to. And until they ride away, they're in the way of these guys. Oh, they broke. Outstanding. Okay, couldn't have asked for a better result. Um. That's just not a bad idea. Let's take that charge away from them. And. Okay. Hot diggity. Well, here we are at 30 minutes. It's looking pretty good. Looking interesting. Don't know how it's going to break out, but we're having fun. Ooh. So what do you say we put a cut in it, and I'll see you again soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.